nice Jug Meat Sings. Nice name. to meet you. Nice to meet you. So why don't you like Justin Trudeau? Oh man, so many, <laughs> so many things. Well, I think one of the biggest things is like what I hear everyone talking about is the housing crisis. People are saying we need more housing. And what he said is, oh yeah, there's a crisis, but wait until after the next federal election and it might do something about it. I think I've heard those words before, after the next election, right. after the next. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you. The light says, I'm just going to wait for you to come out of some houses. Do you have another card? We've got to see about making yeah. it more affordable to get a house. The other thing I'm having an issue with is yeah. childcare. Okay. So, I mean, the wait lists out here are ridiculous. Cool. Awesome. Nicholas, you said? Appreciate it. Oh. So, I want to take on the government in Ottawa. You don't mind, can I take one like No, not at all. I don't mind. Let's do it. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. yeah. You don't have one with Justin? Yeah. yeah. But this one is good. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> okay. Ready? So. There's two really uh, clear solutions that we can propose. Uh, one is using our federal dollars, our federal public resources, to invest immediately in cooperative housing and uh, non-market housing. That is an immediate solution that would... Uh, allow people to access housing. There's so many people that can't afford the down payment, that can't afford a deposit, uh, that can't even find a place to rent. And cooperative housing is a real solution for people. The second thing we need to do is get at the speculation that's in the market. The speculation we've seen provincial governments here in BC uh, take some steps to get at speculation, but we haven't seen the federal government do anything meaningful or, subs or uh, substantive to tackle speculation. And I'd like to see us use our the tools we have in the tax code to tackle speculation so we bring down that, that unsustainable rise in the cost of housing. I spent the first year uh, as leader touring the country, getting to know the concerns that people have, and more and more I felt this sense of betrayal and, and being let down and the sense that people don't feel their lives have improved with this government. Though the government can't on this bold campaign and bold platform, they've seen timid action and that's let people down. And so when, when uh, Kennedy Stewart resigned, a lot of folks in Burnaby South reached out to me saying that we want you to run. I'm confident if we continue to hit doors and work hard like we are, and we're working so hard, that we will win here, we'll do very well, and we'll take that momentum and continue to be people's voice and be in their corner and fight for the change they want to see happen.